Hey everybody, Todd Bettenhausen here. It's time for another video. This will be video four out of probably a total of five on my three projector sim racing cockpit build. I'm right about at the driving position right now. There's my center projector all mounted up per the CAD model. There's the left hand projector and the right hand projector and everything's approximately where it goes. Haven't lined everything up just yet, but we'll go over ahead and take a Look at one of the projector mounts a little closer. Back to the left. It's custom sheet metal parts that are powder coated. They're attached to the wall with these toggler drywall ankle anchors. Uh, the medium duty ones you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Real simple to install and very sturdy. Uh, I wanted to show you this thing here. This is what um, monoprice.com calls a port saver. It's a little 90 degree angle adapter for HDMI cables and a couple of these projectors, especially the right one, are real close to the wall and I wanted to keep them there so I'm using those instead of having the HDMI cable stick out the back and then also I bought these 90 degree power cords. Those help with clearance as well. Looking at my mounting here you can see the blue silicone that's a compressible piece of silicone tubing there so that I can do fine adjusting by how tight I tighten the screws. Also you'll notice that these slots are arc shaped. This one and the one in the back and this one is just a hole. That's so that I can adjust the side projectors and get the pictures to merge with no bezels. Here's the center mount and the position of that one's fixed. All three are just holes and you can see it angles off directly at the center screen. Over on the right, this one's almost perpendicular to the wall the way it worked out. Again, we have adjustment slots. And this is the one that's close to the wall. You can see the power cord back there and that little port saver thing. Let me sneak up here, there's the port saver. So those little bits and pieces you can get from places like monoprice.com can be real important on a project like this. Now, I've got a lot of work to do in this room. Uh, forgive the appearance, there's some places that need paint. I need to replace the switches and wall plates, make everything nice, bright white. I've got shades here that match the window shades, just keeping the, the nosy neighbors from looking in. These shades are real good. I don't think I'm going to have to black these windows out. Um, this window does face northeast, or these two windows, so unless I'm racing early in the morning, I think I'm going to be fine. Back over here for a quick look at the cockpit again, starting in the front. There's the Hughes Inkveld Engineering pedals, and I've done some ergonomic work. I've got the throttle and the brake in the proper relationship for heel and toe down shifting. All my custom sheet metal that I fabricated in addition to the projector mounts, there's my my pedal tray. Custom mounts for the T500RS, one on each side. Mounts for the seat. That's a Sim Experience GS4 seat. Ultra Force is now part of Sim Experience. There's the GS4 servos and power supply and you can see how low I mounted this seat. I got it as low as possible for good ergonomics. One last thing to mention, uh, Sam Maxwell makes these awesome direct replacement wheels for T500 RS. All the buttons work but they're built with real Momo race car steering wheels. I have a 27C for open wheel cars and that one for tin tops, NASCAR, and sprint cars. So that's about it for now. Next time you see this stuff, I will have aligned these projectors and I should be up and running. See you for part five.